Bernie's tonight. They're they legalizing all, all kinds of stuff now. They're, they can do they're that. experimenting in the back there with stuff. Okay. Uh, all kinds of salads, too, at Bernie's. Uh, you don't want to forget about the Dave Allen uh, patented Dave Allen bologna biscuits. Yes. At Bernie's. That's, that's, how, you're, that's how you're making your extra money. Yeah, that's that. a, that, I'm leaving here to just go over there and just, right. you know, uh, as a welcomer right. you know, it, it, for the Dave Allen bologna biscuits. Just ask for the bologna that's got a little goatee beard yes. on it. <laughs> Also, Death by Chocolate right. at Bernie's. Sounds good. Bernie's Cold Street Deli in downtown Logan. This is the final time I get to do this, too. Everything's a final time. But Bernie's is where Bernie always says it is. Best day of my life. 8.35 here on this Friday morning. Good morning to you, Dave. Out of final ever edition of Dave in the Morning. Let's tell us the weekend weather forecast coming up here in just a couple of moments. But right now, it is movie reviews starring Foz Rotten, that guy that used to work at the video store. Files less than an hour left in Dave in the morning, and I do appreciate it because I guess technically you are going to be my one of my last on-air guests. Thank you for having me today, Dave. Um, I, I'm getting a little choked up right now. I really am. <laughs> well, how about we just go straight to the movies, then? What are we talking about this week, man? Um, well, first off, I have to say, man, it's been a week. Not only are you leaving uh, the hearts and you will be forever in the hearts and minds of Logan, but you're leaving our ear, our airwaves. Okay, let's say that, like okay. that. Okay, uh, but the the one and only Harold Ramis has passed. Dave. You were pretty uh, torn up about that it happened earlier earlier this week. Yes, Dave, I've been so distraught over it. Not only you know was he Egon of the Ghostbusters, uh, my Star Wars. Everybody you know loves their Star Wars. Mm -hmm. Ghostbusters is that for me. Okay. But he directed one of your favorite movies, Caddyshack, and the uh, the greatest movie ever made, by the way. And a lot of people don't know that. Like, he directed not just that, but National Lampoon's Vacation, Groundhog's Day. I mean, and he wrote Animal House. Right. He was an accomplished writer, and he was also one of the, the I guess, the few people that actually was a star in four different arenas because he was oh, an actor, he was okay. a writer, and he was a producer and a director. He did them all. Exactly. I mean, most people know him from just being in Stripes or Ghostbusters with Bill Murray, but, you know, he was a man behind the scenes a lot of the time. And I just want to take a second and dedicate this episode to, you know, Mr. Harold Ramos. Uh, he was a childhood hero of mine. He will be missed. All right, let's move on. All right, so going from uh, something sad to something awesome is Liam Neeson's back in nonstop. Nonstop. Tell us about it. Now, it's basically kind of like your regular Taken premise or something like that, an action movie with Liam Neeson where people get beat up. Okay. But this time, Dave, it's on an airplane. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. It's it, it's not snakes on a plane, you know, right. but, uh, you know, it's Liam Neeson on a plane. Okay. Um, basically, he is an air mark, is an air marshal on this flight, and he gets contacted and told, he needs to deposit so much money into this account or somebody on the plane will die and keep dying until they get the money. At the end, you know, of course, things go haywire and he starts getting framed. What are they going to do, Dave? What's Liam Neeson going to do? Oh, tell us, Foz. Oh, I don't know. i got to see the movie. Okay. All right, very good. And uh, also out this week is uh, Son of God, which um, is kind of like a more gentler uh, Passion of the Christ, I guess, okay. uh, where... Um, yeah, it, it takes uh, the telling of, of the Bible, you know, and presents it in a way for modern audiences, you know, to, to see in a theater. Um, I, I watched the trailer. It looks it looks pretty cool. Go and check it out. Uh, I think it's going to be blown up everywhere this week, I'm going to say. Okay. Um, and also, uh, you know, you still got Kevin Costner's Three Days to Kill, Pompeii, and 3D. Uh, now, have you seen that yet, Dave? No, I have not. Um, well, I hate to ruin it for you, but something bad happens to Pompeii. Okay, all right. All right. <laughs> and also, you know, my pick of the week, of course, as the last three weeks, RoboCop. RoboCop is still going strong. Oh, yes. You got to go see it. Critics are raving. I'm raving. I guess I count as a critic sometimes. <laughs> Um, okay, uh, also out on DVD this week is Thor The Dark World. All right. Uh, now, who's your favorite Marvel superhero, Dave? I don't, I don't know. Uh, Batman. I don't That's, know. that's DC, Dave. You can't say that. I don't, you can't say that. I don't, I don't know any, uh, uh, I, Captain America. Okay, okay. Right. We'll, we'll, we'll go with that. I just made that up, by the way. Uh, you know, I, I, 
hope you know that you're lucky it's your last day because you might, you know, be taken out out back and beat for what you just said about Batman. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If, if Mike Browning is listening, uh, I'm doing right now with the comic book boys all upset with me. Well, we got Thor: The Dark World coming out, um, and I really enjoy the Thor series. But I'm with Dave on Captain America. It has been my favorite out of all these. I'm really looking forward to Winter Soldier coming out, um, and also out this week is Gravity. You know, it's up for the Oscars and all the big. Yeah. Yeah. Big awards, uh, so go see them alone in space and isolation. But it, it looks to be really good. I still haven't got my screener copy from the Academy yet. I'm still waiting to see it's it. It's probably coming. You'll get your uh, your gift of the, the swag that they give out too, right? Oh yeah. And to to close out out this week of releases, Dave. Uh, I, I this isn't a movie, but I had to bring it up because it's you know a big a big occasion for me. Okay. Mama's Family, the complete third season. Oh, no. With the introduction of Bubba. With Bubba. Uh, he, he got out of the reformatory, and, you know, he, he's being taken in because his parents abandoned him, and Mama's going to show him what's right, Dave. Okay. That sounds sounds like a real winner, Paul. Uh, oh, oh, it is. All right. Uh, okay, so Buzz and Sonya's gone, Bubba's in, you're leaving me, Harold Ramis is gone. I just, I just can't handle it, Dave. All right, all right, well... We appreciate you stopping by the studio, and again, this is the final episode of Movie Reviews with that guy that used for the video story starring Foz Rotten. Quick, uh, anything on the band? Do you have to? Uh, just check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Everything is just Foz Rotten. Add me on there. All right, sounds good. Bye, Dave. I've got to get this closet cleaned out.